Oh, gotcha. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 passable. Okay. Tell me if it gets really bad and I can just like uh restart it, because okay. I know Discord likes to do that sometimes. So are we good on the uh the rollouts and the callouts and that stuff? No. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine to call out and roll out because I'm mad. I need to. Uh, I don't know. I am not up the call outs. Oh yeah, Rowdy, you do like a weird rollout. Yeah, no, I don't know the rollout for this map. And you're the Roma, right? Correct. I mean, the Roma roll isn't that simple. Or it's it's simple. I mean, it just uh, you get out of spawn, you jump here, jump over here. Just kind of do this. Just and then once you get to the house, this. hopefully you get your buff from your medic. And then you play your mid from there. You, you pretty much have to follow where your team's going. Gotcha. Nothing crazy. Was there uh, anybody else that needed to uh, have problems with the rollout or anything? FM, uh, I, Plaque, I think, knows it. Um, Just in case he somehow doesn't, even though he's pugged here a ton. Uh, Demo raw, it's easy. You just you do your jumps and spawn. Use like a stick here, here, whatever, and, and jump to the shutter. Something that's nice is for your pocket solder, because you get the pocket solders quicker to the shutter. Uh, it's it's nice for the pocket solder to stand here for his demo to like get through the shutter clean. So you, you can just have like your pocket solder delay and like the shutter a bit to help him out with that. But otherwise, you just yeah, sticky jump through lobby. Into house, nothing crazy. Just whatever gets okay. you here, like the fastest. But typically, yeah, it's just through left lobby, and then you play the mid normally. But all right, if that's uh, if that's all for the rollouts, I think we will talk about the mid fight. So Metalworks mid is pretty weird mid compared to the the rest of them. Most teams opt for the uh, the right side mid, which is more. Your combo will kind of roll out valley, or they'll roll out like the lower door if it's like safer. Which would mean like your pocket scout, your pocket soldier, your demo, your med, your flank scout, even. Your flank scout usually playing like under point, kind of seeming like threatening anybody who's like just taking 1v1s on under the point. And like something I like to do as a roamer is one of my teams doing a right side mid. I just play in elbow. And I deny their team from walking up this ramp. And what that does is if I can deny them from walking up the ramp while my team is able to go up this ramp, that's instantly an advantage for my team because we have high ground and they'll be positioned like by valley or by lower. So you by extension you a good start a, to the mid. By go extension, ahead. a good place for the pocket to get to stand is to walk up that ramp and try to deny a soldier that's trying to deny you. Good pocket pocket scout positioning is usually like uh you're playing on like this you will call this banny spot or like above forward spawn. Or you can play like a, around like the, the crate area. Just standing on like a high ground position ready to like kill any soldier that's like gonna jump into you. Cause it's a it's a pretty common metalworks mid just for your soldiers to just uh high bomb first off of like this wall. Yeah. So you just wanna be in a good position to help kill them quickly. So, yeah, wherever you want to stand, just whether up here or on the crate. Usually, my pocket, if I'm playing pocket scout, I usually have my pocket soldier play on this crate and, like, fight anybody that's, like, an elbow so I can help, like, my team walk up the ramp, kind of deny this ground. But, yeah, that's pretty much a right side mid. Right side mid, you just, as a team, you just try to get up this ramp and then take, like, a spam fight with them. As they're like trying to do the same to you and you just kind of play off damage. If you get damage and or your soldiers have like enough health and spam to bomb. You, it's a really it's a pretty good bomb time because your team has high ground and you can like follow up easier. So you can have like your shoulder from elbow commit out of an high bomb off like the wall here and like your pocket soldier. A good bomb for him is to he can drop down here do like a bomb like this just land on them here. Okay. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing, nothing crazy for a right side mid. You just uh, play positioning here and take a spam fight. That's really about it. As far as a, or before we go on, anybody have any questions about a right side mid, like what their role should be doing? 
Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, actually, yes, yes, I do. Go as ahead. Med, as med, yeah, I do. Um, where I stand generally. Where you stand, it's a uh, pretty dependent on what your pocket scout likes to play. Okay. You're just kind of standing Behind around. Behind me. You, yeah, you're. It, it really just depends on like if your team's like walking up or not. If your team's like not ready to walk up yet, you're kind of angled right here, just healing people, waiting for like the the mid to really get into motion. But once like you get like a call to move forward and you want to take like the high ground, you have like your pocket scout and like your shoulder take the space up here, and then you can start to like walk up this ramp and kind of be with your team here. But only when it's like safe for you to do so. Otherwise, you're just kind of playing this general area. Hmm. All right, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else have any uh, questions? All right, I think I'll go over the left side mid. Left side mid's just a typical soldier high bomb mid. You usually go like a left side mid if you're like, you're just trying to like surprise the enemy team or you're just losing mid, so you just want to try to get something aggressive, trying to make something work. So you have like on the raw, both of your soldiers, healthy in house. As soon as they get to mid, the rest and the you just like a high bomb off of here. Both the shoulders land on their combo, whether it's lower, valley, or an elbow. And your team's like running right in, right behind them, ready to fall up on that damage like immediately. So wherever you guys can get in, I would suggest if you're doing like a left side mid. You can you can follow the bomb just by going up. You can walk out lower and just walk up this ramp here, and then get ready to help, like fall up on your shoulder damage from like wherever positioning over here. But okay, yeah, it's nothing nothing crazy. You just have like both your soldiers bomb. Uh, something that's really nice as well is having your flank scout. As soon as like he hears like their uh your soldiers are bombing, you wait like a second. And then you like you run across point like underneath point, and because like everybody's gonna be looking in the air, it's really easy for the flank scout to shoot people on their backs because they're not like paying attention. Yeah, because their scouts are gonna be shooting at your soldiers. Their demo's probably gonna be, their demo's probably not gonna be shooting at you. He'll probably be shooting at your combo. So it's pretty easy for a flank scout to take advantage of the chaos and just run underneath point. But yeah, it's just a left side mid, you just shoulders bomb, you guys walk across and try to follow up on that damage. Nothing too complicated, I hope. But I think any questions about that? No. Uh... Okay, I think we can move on to pushing second. So let's just say you won like a mid fight, but it was like, it was a pretty close fight. It's like even Ubers now and you're just like stalemating at Metalworks second. Pushing into Metalworks second, that is. So it's even, you're going to want to sack. The most common sack is to just, uh, you can leave one of your soldiers in house to just watch like the drop down. And you can have like your flank scout kind of watch underneath here. And the rest of you guys, that'll be like. Your soldier that's going to sack, your demo, your pocket scout, your med. You're going to rotate into alley here. Make sure there's nobody hiding in this funny spot. And just have your soldier high bomb off this wall. And just land wherever their medic is or their demo. However you want to do it. That's pretty much the most common way people will sack into go away watch second. Just having a soldier high bomb here. Alternatively, you can uh, you can fade off and try to go behind them instead, and just kind of cause chaos that way. But is a double sec good on this map? I'd say you can try. You could, you should probably single sack first because this is a a really good point for soldiers to sack into. Like this bomb is probably the it's one of the easiest like sack sacks ever. Honestly, if they're meds like yeah, fair, yeah. If they're meds um, like caught on bridge, it's pretty easy to get them to force if your soldier has like good mechanics. Yeah. Um. Last season, like we made the best medic in the div drop five times on this map alone. 
Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this map is, uh, is rough, rough for him. Me. Yeah. But yeah, you can, you can absolutely uh, do, man. If you if you want, a good thing would be to have, like, your, uh, your soldier doing this bomb here. Meanwhile, while your soldier's in the air doing that, you can have your flank scout just run underneath. While, like, like their combo is, like, distracted, you can run up, like, the pipe here, try to get their med, or you can sneak behind into their ramp room and try to do it like this. But yeah. Ramp room might be a good spot, yeah. Because a lot, a lot of people, like, I don't know, me personally, I just seem to, like, forget ramp room exists. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty funny spot. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird room. Okay. Oh, you could, uh, not too many teams do this. It's not, like, the best sack. You could try just skipping in through, like, bridge. If, like, you, your other sacks aren't working. Uh, this yeah. one typically isn't as good because usually there's, like, a demo man or like a soldier standing here just like blocking like body blocking you mm -hmm. but if you can get through clean then it's like it's probably like as good as the other sack and it's like really quick so they're not going to be ready but ready you can do it i believe in you typically i just recommend high bombing through alley it's just uh easier yeah okay so that's like pushing into second did anybody have any questions about that I didn't know. Alright. Now we'll go about pushing into I think we'll talk about Ubers actually. Like if it's if you had a, if you had mid and you had like a Uber ad, we'll talk about how to the different ways you can get into second. So one thing you can do is leave like your soldier in house to watch the drop down and have like the rest of your team go into alley. This is a, if you have like big ad and you're trying not to like use, you're trying not to get forced. Mm. So you can just uh, have the rest of your team go into alley here. Have like your other soldier bomb for space. You can land on this crate. It's a pretty safe space to land. If a, uh, cause usually they'll be playing back by shutter. If they, if somebody wants to like leave this like safe spot and try to fight you over here. This is why this, this crate's a good spot. They'll have to commit really far. And even if you you do die on the crate, this person who like fought you probably should die as well, because your team is gonna hopefully be following up right behind you. So yeah, have okay. your soldier make space by landing onto that crate. Watch out for the your scout should be at, watching out for like a high bomb, like up here. You can't deny this bomb. You just have to hope to get a good surf and hope your scout can kill him really quickly. Oh joy! It's a pretty. It's a pretty. It's it's hard. To not get forced on this on this point because it's a they have the bomb you can't you can't see the soldier until he's like in the skybox and you can't deny it so watch yeah. out for that you just okay. have to like if i'm like a medic here i would just keep my eyes glued to the sky right now honestly All right. You, if they're if their soldiers are smart that's the bomb they're going to be doing into you so just watch out just watch for the rocket jump sounds and yeah just hit a good surf and hopefully, your right med there. can kill quickly. Okay. Otherwise, if you uh, if you think like they're caught, alternatively, you can just uh, have like a demo man bomb through house and just catch them by the shutter. Like if they're if you have Ed and they're playing like over here on this bridge, kind of like aggressively, you can definitely catch them out with like a a bomb through house. And just juggle their med right in the shutter. And just have like your scout follow up with the flash so your med can save them. Alright, did you have any questions about how to push in a second with add? Oh wait, I can I, I should show you guys one more play that's uh that's pretty good here. I forgot to go over the I think I'll wait for your med to get back, actually, because this is pretty important. But this is like having a double scout Uber through lower and catching him up by shutter. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good Uber. And I can, I, yeah, it'd be, you just have like two scouts just annihilating everything. Okay, I'm back. Watch more. It's all good. I was just gonna go over one last uh, Uber to take in a second. Okay. So if you don't want to use through house. And with like a demo bomb, but like they're caught through shutter, 
you can have like both your scout go lower here with your med, and you can just like run, have like both your scouts run you into ramp room. And if they're like, by the time you get to here, if they're not like, if their team isn't already by like the shutter and like leaving, mm -hmm. you can just use through like ramp room and just like have both your scouts just kill everything under and just kill I... everything by the shutter. Meanwhile, your, your other soldier watches like house, the other soldier can come in through alley. I want to try some of this, up from house. Yeah. I try some of this but we're kind of crunching this week. Because, um, you know, our official was yesterday. Bagel oh. official was yesterday. Oh, yeah. I saw that. You guys had some new scheduling. We won. Nice. Yeah. So... The, the third half, yes, yes, of course. Well, that's all that matters, that you uh, clutched up. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, yeah, that's basically... That under underpass Uber. It's pretty good play. I, I imagine most teams aren't going to know what to do if they see, like, two scouts just running at them underneath. If they don't react quickly enough, you guys can just absolutely mulch them. All right, yeah, was there any questions about, about that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. All right, I think we'll talk about pushing in the last now. I'll talk first about just sacking in, so it's like even Ubers, you're pushing into their last. A typical sack is usually going to be, you can two-man onto this point pretty easily, kind of like Gully Wash, because Metalworks last is hard to push out of, without using at least. Yeah. So I'd, I can pretty confidently just say you can send like a your Roamer and like your Flank Scout, wherever your Flank Scout wants to get in. But yeah, the Romer bomb is typically through main, high bomb off this wall, landing on wherever their med is, and just trying to go for the force, obviously. And your scout can just run in wherever he wants to. He can just all go far left, far right. Whatever door is like not being watched, probably. And just sack through that. That is the typical the, sack. The sniper play is pretty com common on pushing last, right? It is, it is. The sniper okay. angles are quite good on this map. Have a sniper... I'd say like a good first peek is the shutter, because if they don't know you're on sniper, quickly peek the shutter, their meds should be like right in front of you somewhere. Hmm. That's like your good. That's like a good first option. Another good angle is this right lobby, or left lobby rather. And you can get like a good snipe on like their, their flank over here, like the roamer soldier. He's usually playing on like one of these crates, or he's playing on top of this hut. He's usually not even looking at the right lobby sometimes, he's just watching this door. So you can have a good sniper try to get a pick onto him. And then if you get a pick onto this guy, you can easily have like your sniper rotate right side here, since this door is no longer being watched. And you have you can have you have a really deep angle. Like if their meds like hiding behind like this wall, you can peek pretty deep here, and because they're down a soldier it's you have a really good sight line here. It'll hard, be hard for them to dislodge you without committing some lives to it. All right. In terms of other sack plays, like if you're just trying to do like the, uh, a typical high bomb and your scouts running in, but that is not working. Uh, okay, you can first, just try. Quick. Go ahead. Um, I want our soldiers to go first if we push right, because ninety percent of the times that we've pushed last on this map, there's been a gun underneath the bridge. Oh, this spot? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've been told a to, spot. I've, I've been told it's an alright spot, but there's a better spot, which is at the bottom of that ramp. Yeah. Yeah, if you have so if they if you know you're doing that, having your soldiers go right here and just spamming it down is a good play. Yeah. I just I it's, just wanted to make that apparent before that happens in a game. Absolutely, that's a good point. But yeah, if it's like a, if your typical high bomb isn't working, you can just try having like your uh, something I like to do is as a roamer and, a, and if I need like a pick, I I would just like distract this guy over here if he's like standing on like the height over here. I'll be like shooting rockets and we'll, we'll be trading spam, and as like a sack, we'll have like my either like my flank scout or like my pocket soldier just commit through the shutter and just like come quickly to the right side and help kill this guy quickly and then like leave immediately if you can okay uh usually it's a it'll 
it might just be like a trade because you're kind of committing like a lot of people to this right side and they might like rotate people but if you guys are like if you can kill this guy quickly and like just get out you just get like a free pick to work with and you can try sending a, a better sack and just pressuring the doorways that's about probably the the basics of second and the last i think we can go over ubers now if nobody else has any uh anything they want to talk about first All right, so if you have ad pushing into Motorworks last, I'd say 99% of the time you're going to want to start off coming into left lobby. You can decide whether you want to go far left or main. I'd say if you're going to go far left, you want to make sure that you get, there's usually going to be like a gun around here or like here, so. You don't need to have like your your double man bomb or anything. You just need to have them shoot stickies at the gun, get the gun down as quick as possible, and flush them away from this side and like push them back into like their spawn or like push them back to like this bridge area. And then at that point, when your uber's like fading, you can like call in like your flank, so you can you can have like your uh, your sort of like waiting here for like the call to like commit, and then just high bomb onto them as they're like getting pushed back from the uber and just like collapse on them you can have like another soldier just coming in from the right side as well and they'll be they'll be pushed on two sides it'll it'll be a really good uber if you guys can uh, focus fire so that's uh that's far left another thing you can do is having a a demo bomb through shutter or main i'd recommend just coming in through uh, main here. Just a typical demo scout uber. You just have like a, put a sticky down, do uber, you jump into them. If they have a gun, this one's not as good because you're a bit farther away. So I would try to make sure we get a spot where the gun is if they have one beforehand. Because if you, if you uh, if there's no gun, it'll kind of throw a wrench in this uber because your dumb one's farther away. You'll have to spend a bit more time shooting it down, but it's similar to like the left side uber where you bomb into them into this area and then you force them back into spawn or you force them into like this left corner over here. And once you guys do that, you can either play the point depending if like they're in spawn or if they're all standing like over here, you can have like your flank come in so you can have like your shoulder bombing in from main, just high bombing in. You can have like another guy coming in from the left side here, just right on top of them. But yeah, that's typically like the idea with uh, the Ubers here into this last point is to just uh, force them away from the point, force them into like a corner for your flank to like collapse on them. Or if you force them into spawn, you want to just cap the point. Does that make sense? Yep. I think I would go over this, even though it's probably not going to come into play, but if you want to, like, take a right side uber for whatever reason, uh, it's very... I wouldn't take this if they have a gun, because if they have a gun, you're really far away from it. It'll waste a lot of it just trying to get over there in the first place, but this uber's quite good if it's, like, this door isn't being watched, and you can just, like, walk in and just milk and just walk all the way up here. But, yeah. I... You typically don't see teams doing that, so unless you're really confident about if you know like the roamer is dead and nobody's watching this and they don't have a gun, this is a really good door, but otherwise I would just stick to just using a your typical Ubers to this left lobby here through main or far left. Alright. Alright, was uh any questions about taking Ubers into last? I don't personally. Um, invitation for anyone else to speak? It's all good. You don't have any questions. Yeah. Uh, it's all good. All right, we can uh, now talk about pushing out of last. So this last is quite hard to push out of, unless you have like at least like two picks or a sizable ad. I'd say like you'd want at least like. 
you you need like more than thirty or forty ad if you want to just try and like get it try to like dry in a second for free without using anything less than like forty or thirty. It'll you'll probably just have to like use Uber and just try to like flip flop the point. You guys know what that means? And just so uh, flip flop the point basically means like a this is for like any point at all. It means like you're using the Uber pretty aggressively through like a door and even though their meds probably not going to be caught at the very least you're going to like get the point because you used uber and they're like running away and they'll have ad pushing back into you but it's better than being like forced on your last if you know what i mean yeah fair so that's like the idea behind like flip-flopping a point it's good for like if you're stuck on your last or on your second and you just don't want the game to stalemate you can just uh Use an Uber through like the shutter, like whatever door, and just force them out. If you're lucky, their metal be killed, or you'll get some other picks to like work with. But at the very least, you just want to be able to get off of your last. But okay, I'll go over uh, some of the more detailed plays for pushing outs. So as I said, you, if you want to get this for free, you'll probably you want to go right side with your combo here in the right lobby. And have like your you're gonna want your flank to be posted up in a ramp room here, because it's pretty common for teams to try and like send people behind to like back cap. So you want to have like a sword just standing right here, so you can watch ramp room and you can watch shutter. And the flank's got somewhere nearby to help them. And meanwhile, while you guys are doing that, your combo is here, spamming them away if they're like spamming away from this door. And then you want to get your soldier through, whether it's like a, a skip jump. You want to like clear the sticks. Maybe even get an arrow if you like safe behind the sheet metal here. And just slowly edge them out of like this point. So it's pretty important that your soldier is like healthy in a lobby here. So make sure he's like at 300. Then you can send him through, clear the sticks. And as soon as your soldier's through, you guys want to get through as quickly as possible to support him. And yeah, that's basically the idea behind that. Any questions about pushing right side out of last? Okay. The other option is like the to just use through shutter here. So you can just have like your double man just straight up bomb out of the shutter, land on like their combo, if they're mad if they're caught here, and pretty much just. Typical demo bomb movers uh, have like your flank. You want to have like a soldier standing here. You want to have like your other soldier kind of watching this right lobby as well, because people might, as soon as they see you like use the shutter, they might just try to like go behind. So you want to make sure both sides are being watched. But yeah, otherwise it's just a typical don't man scout your through shutter, trying to catch out picks and uh, yeah. Right. Those are your Pretty much the two probably easiest options pushing out of last most uh, traditional way. It is pretty hard to push out of this last without like good advantages though, as I keep saying. It's like a pretty hard, pretty hard yeah. last to push out of. Yeah. I've, I've stalemated a lot on this map. This map is uh, pretty funny. But yeah, if we don't have any questions about that, we can move on to pushing into mid from second. So pushing into mid, let's say it's like even, and you're kind of just like waiting for them to sack, and then you can like counter stack, right? A good thing you can do as like a roamer, like whatever, whatever soldier is like playing the bridge here, as soon as like their your combo is like telling you like their soldier's coming in, they're stacking, you can high bomb off of like the wall here and land on them alley for like a good counter stack like immediately, because they're gonna be their meds gonna be like in this alley buffing like their soldier. And this alley is like a pretty pretty bad spot for medics to be in. So, if you're like confident in your ability to like get them the force, you can just uh, even though their shoulder is like still not dead, he's like in the middle of sacking. You can you can go for a play here, and you have like a pretty good chance of forcing or dropping their med even. So, I'd say it's a pretty acceptable risk. Otherwise, 
if you just want to take like a good counter sack, you can have like your team go under, buff up your roamer here. If they're close in house, you can try going up drop down. Otherwise, a good sack is just bombing off here, just landing wherever they are. If they like pulled back to mid. Alternatively, if it's a uh, whoever's playing house here, keep track of who's how many people are in, in like their house. If they're like pressuring alley, and there's only like like their pocket soldier or like whoever in house here, like a good counter sack, you can just send like two people really quickly to just fight this guy, and hope and maybe even get that pick because this guy he he can see like a soldier, so he can hoard with the doors pretty well, but. You should be able to get that pick if he's like playing too aggressively. It depends on uh, if their demo is like holding house or not. But if it's just like a soldier, you can send like your soldier or like a scout with him to just rush this guy in house and try to get that pick. All right, that's about uh, all I got for count. Wait, I got one more actually. If you want to counter sack as a soldier, instead of high bombing off like the wall. Something you can do is, like, if they're not washing under, you can just wrap them from under. And, like, they're not even going to be looking at you. So, keep track if there's, like, nobody, like, watching watching underpass here. Otherwise, you can just get a really good counter stack in just by cutting them off by walking through underpass. Any questions about counter stacks? Push uh, nope. Okay. Now we'll talk about pushing into mid with add. So with add, what most teams will do, if you want to get it for free, like without using Uber, you have like your roamer, just hold house while the rest of your team will be running through underpass and just taking space valley and then slowly just inching your way forward, well, shooting, denying their spammers and yeah, just uh, trying to force them out with like your Uber ad. Something that's good for your combo, like if you're a roamer, it's good to spot if there's like anybody in house here, because I I know this because as a roamer, if you get like a good, if you if you spot there's like somebody playing an elbow here, like fighting you, there's a pretty good chance he's gonna high bomb into your combo. As like a stack when they're coming in, so it's pretty. It's a it's a good call to like a uh, let your team know that there's like a guy here. He's probably gonna bomb into you because your team can't see it, but you can. But yeah. Otherwise, if you're just if the if you're not getting good plays through value here, something you can try. If you just want to like use Uber, like if they're caught, like for let's say they're like right around this area here and you like want to like catch them out with an uber you can just have your team rotate from valley here have like your demo man bomb through like lower house and just take a demo scout uber into them top right here and just cut them off that is if they're caught or you're just trying to like flip flop the point okay any questions about Pushing into mid. Uh, nope. Yeah, I think we went over pretty much everything. Now, is there a, anything you guys want to go over? It can be about any point. Uh, it's something you can do. It's uh, on this point, sniper isn't as good because uh, like he can't. A sniper, you're gonna have a hard time peeking house because their sword is gonna be like walking down this door. Their your best angle is to just uh, be just watching underpass here, trying to shoot at people's like legs and stuff, catch anybody out underneath here, or if that's not working, you can just try inching your way into alley here and just getting off like a good peek on another flank or whatever. But on this point, it's really easy for soldiers to like 
counterplay that. So if they know you're running sniper, it's pretty easy for a soldier to just take a fight elsewhere and just like take a 1v1 elsewhere and just uh or alternatively if you're like, in the alley, it's easy for a soldier to just high bomb into you. So if you're dealing with like a sniper in like alley or something, a good counterplay to deny him like the space here is just rotate your dumb man, rotate like a soldier to spam him out here. He can't he's not gonna be able to get a good angle. You can you can let the sniper have like the angle here because you can't deny it from him. Just avoid like showing like your your hitbox to him. Just like play up here. Just make sure nothing gets through, but don't give him like the opportunity to like snipe you. And if he starts, if the sniper starts playing really aggressively in alley, you can just have your shoulder high bomb onto him, and he can't he can't do anything about it. He'll just get he'll get launched up by your rocket, and he should be you should be traded out at least. Alright, does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, no problem. You guys want to go over anything else? Maybe even a... I have time for a demo if you guys want to go over that. Uh, some bombs. If you have some any bombs. Questions. Let's see. I mean, you have the... Any point in particular? Or just like gener generalized bombs? General bombs, odd bombs, weird bombs, anything. Mm. Doesn't matter in difficulty, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> To be honest, it's like, this map is quite generic in terms of like, most soldiers will just do the same bombs because the bombs are just really good. Like if you're I just mean, trying to like second a second and do like a high bomb here, I don't know. They you do the skip jump through house. Good. You can try a... I see a, I see a uh, speed shot potential right there. Yeah, you can, you, can tr you can try like ramp sliding up here Ooh. or something or like just like going behind into the ramp room for like a sack. Usually teams aren't... They don't have like anybody to deny you, so if you get like a good pogo or like yeah. speed shot, you can get in a ramp room pretty safe. Even like steal this health back from them if they're not looking, and just uh, you had a second of them from like behind. Going into last, hmm. I feel like pushing last with add a good bomb to do is just high bombing off of this wall. You can land on this thing and nuke oh, them from right here. You can do this from any angle, but I like doing it from like over there because nobody, like, they'll like see you bombing, but it's gonna it'll be hard for them to keep track of you. But you just land on top of this thing if like your team is taking like an Uber through like bridge and they're like forcing them like right underneath you here. It's a pretty good spot. There's also this funny thing up here. If I can get up there. Oh, I keep beefing. This looks funny. If if like. I think it's like on the lamp. I see like Double Man do this sometimes, that's really weird. Yeah. If you that's feel like really trolling, hiding, you just have, like, hide, hide, hide spot, yeah. Yeah, just have somebody stand up here and just nuke the point. I'm out of if ammo. They, if if they leave a if they leave a heavy at last, just like drop and blow them up. Let me think of some other bombs. Oh, if you're trying to like counter sack out of last, this isn't like a a difficult bomb, but just skip jumping him into usually like their meds like playing like around this corner. If they're like waiting for you to like sack into them, mm. that's a good thing. Otherwise, just trying to get behind through like ramp room. Counter sacking out of last is pretty hard, so typically I just I don't really care. I just go quickly, so my I minimize the. Uh, my time on the spawn, my spawn timer. I don't want to let him have too much time to sack. Hmm. There was a bomb that was pretty funny at mid. I, they made it harder because like they, this is like the refreshed version. This is like F4. They tweaked with like some of this ground stuff, but you can like do like a speed shot here, slide like off this ramp, like high bomb into like their valley pretty much. Let me see if I can hit it. This one looks like fun. You can do it on a rollout too if you're feeling like feisty. I haven't really practiced it. Yeah, speed shots on uneven angles are pretty difficult. Something like this. Oh yeah. Ooh. This is pretty funny. You just instantly get behind them for like a mid fight. Oh yeah, how could I not how could I forget about this one? Do you guys know about the uh 
the Batman spot? Yep, I do. Yeah. This is like the uh, the play. If you're like, if they're pushing into like Valley and you're trying to force them, this is like the best thing for your soldier to do. Just uh, bomb off of this and just land on their med. Otherwise, you can just, or if you want, you can just uh, wait for some of you to just peek here and just nuke them because they're unaware. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something else, but I think, yeah, I think that's about it in terms of the jumping ideas. I see, I see some potential in that rock. I see something there that might work, but um, I'd have to test it. Getting the wall bug. Oh, nice. I don't know. Ooh, process. All right. Can't wait for process week. I think that's about all I got. Unless you guys had any uh, more questions. Um, I do have one question actually. Oh, go ahead. Um, so on mid, what time should I be going in for picks? That's part scout. As a pocket scout, usually you just uh the role of like a pocket scout first and foremost is to just uh be like protect super like orbiting around your medic and just uh on metalworks man you just you're just playing the height here and then pretty much the only time you want to like walk forward and start like chasing picks is when like they're like already like leaving the mid pretty much and you're just trying to like catch that anybody who's just still caught in. Otherwise, you're just kind of playing guard dog for your med for a while. In front, in front of me too. Yeah. Okay. Please. Kinda, I can't like recommend as like a pocket scout you like start chasing picks unless it's like unless you like, already won the fight, you know. Otherwise, you're kind of putting your med at risk. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, the the best place is to kill people that are on your medic and just orbit them. Yeah, you're, you're you're the best class in the game. Yeah, okay. instantly just kill everything that walks up to you. I would only chase the picks if they're like, yeah, super caught out, or they're like bombing your medic and you have to kill them. It's hard for me to say otherwise. Ooh, I'm gonna miss snake water week. Ooh, a little bit. Uh. Um, okay, the, 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 the person I'm saw I'm getting this up for meds better than, better at med than me, so. It's gonna help. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. I am figuring it out slowly. It, it, it just comes with time. It, it all comes like, with time. That one, like, I feel out of most things, except for, like, DM, is stuff, is one, is one thing that's, like, like, there's no, there's nothing you can actively, like, do except practice. Oh, so that is possible. Like, I'm just bad. <laughs> no, no, you're good. It's not exactly a useful jump. You just end up in a right lobby with no rockets. <laughs> yeah. No, just... Just like, no, 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 just like, when you get there with no rockets, you pull out your market gardener that you have, and oh, they start off the enemy rockets. Ah, great. <laughs> oh, yeah, on our official and bagel, I hit the weirdest market garden. Like, Ooh, I I still gotta see that one. Oh, yeah, I still haven't clipped it yet. Um, fucking demo hit me with a sticky up while I think I was Ubered. <laughs> and just market garden their med somehow. Uh, like, I was I was just out of ammo. Like, I ran out of ammo. I was just like, oh, click. You know, it was a crit. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, simple. So, so, so. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing how easy it is. Or this is a really good play. Oh my god. Ooh. That's nasty. Nobody's Devil gonna be looking up here. Devilish. No, that's uh, nobody new is gonna, Nobody in newcomers is gonna be doing this, man. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really good at wall bug, you can get up there. You're good at wall bugging, right, Rowdy? 
I need to get better at it. It seems I need to practice. Oh. Ooh, all right. Oh, my God. If I hit this Please. in a game, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's coming in the house is not going to have a good time. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? Anybody played uh, Deep Rock Galactic here? I do have Deep Rock, I have. Little, little Rock Deep Galactic. Fucking Cave Leech, dude. I swear to God. Oh, God. <laughs> like cave leech I kind of want to get that perk that just instantly kills them because they're just so annoying because nobody wants to do, do, like get me free from them. Yeah. <sighs> I, should get, I should get another one of my friends. Actually, how many people have it here? There's me, Rowdy, Steve, I think you said it. Oh, I got it, yeah. Um... Deep Rock Deep Galactic. Rock Galactic. That's a good game. Kind of under the uh, under the.